What's going on guys? It's your boy Django Jax. I'm here at the data center. I'm finalizing my build plans for this wind tunnel thing. Okay, I want to get you guys' opinion. I want to know what you guys think, if I can improve it um, at any way. Like any input at all is welcome, but I'm pretty limited, okay? So like here, here's the update. Basically, the landlord says I can't put any holes in the building. And the reason is because uh, this building is a historical building and so Basically, in order to get any approval on knocking holes in the side of the building, uh, we have to get the city involved and F that noise. We're not getting no city involved in any of my business up in here. Uh, yeah, so we're not going to knock the holes in the wall, um, which is okay. Um, I think we can utilize, we, we have to use anything, we, we have a bay door in the back and we have a couple door openings. And so as long as I don't block anything, like any vital systems or anything, I think we'll be okay. And I mean, you gotta realize too that the AC will be fixed eventually, okay? So uh, when the AC gets fixed, I will probably build hot cold aisles and just vent the heat into the attic because then the AC will come down and the heat will just get cycled up. So I think that will be the plan once the AC gets, it'll be a brand new chiller system. Um, but I have no idea when that will be done. You know, it could be, you know, six months or it could be a year. I, that's why I'm building this. And so this has just gotta work temporarily. So. I ordered these three giant 36 by 36 inch fans from Home Depot. They do like 6,100 CFM each. So I'll be having 18,000 CFM of exhaust. Um, I think that's, will do it. You know, I think that's quite a bit. Um, I don't know, that, that's what uh, Hawk Crypto Mining had and his window tunnel. He had three of these, these iLiving fans. So I think that will work for what I am doing. The, I'm struggling here is with the intake because it's very clear that the exhaust will just go right through. So um, I, I was looking up how to like remove drywall. It looks, it looks really easy, but the landlord says for me not to do it. They, they will send uh, some guys over this week that are gonna demo a section of the wall so I can install the fans. And then I thought I could wire up these fans myself, but after like looking at the instructions, I ain't chancing it. We're getting an electrician in here. And then again, I'm not paying for this. The landlord is sending an electrician by and they're gonna wire them up. So I'm just waiting for, to, for that. So, I mean, I probably could do the wall. I mean, I really want to. I wanna just like start cutting a hole in there. But he's like, no, no, just wait and we'll get it. And I'm like, all right, all right. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm struggling on what to do with my intake because basically I'll throw up some designs on here. What I was thinking was I would shoot the exhaust straight out. And, and we're having a lot of obstacles here. So the bay door, when you open it up, there's a big archway in the way, right? So it's, it's blocking, it's not optimal. So it, it, that sucks because I got to shoot that out. And then above the archway, there's a giant awning that comes out. And so I'm worried that the heat will get trapped right there. And when I bring my intake in, that it's going to get like sucked, like suck in the heat back into my, back into the building. And I don't want that. So I thought about angling these off to the side so that they suck the intake from the side. But I mean, I'm, and I'm just going to build all this out of wood. And the, the problem is I have to run these long tube systems in and I just, I don't think it's ideal. I, I could bring in, I could bring them through the door on the side, but I'm not, like in this like it's not I, it's obviously not ideal so i've been sitting here just like racking my brain like thinking I've, I've been here for like four days and i've just been like thinking about this design for four days now just like how what can i do i posted on twitter got a lot of uh got a lot of uh feedback and i thought a lot of it was really good and a lot of it was like oh why don't you vent it through the roof Obviously, I would love to bend it through the roof. Obviously, I would love to, because there, there's a bay door on this side with another bay door, so it's like a straight wind tunnel on this side of the building. I could use that, but then I have to completely move the power from where it is to all the way over here, which is like 200 feet away. So I mean, the power has to be completely rerouted. That's tens of thousands of dollars to pay an electrician to do that. And so it's like, obviously, I would like to do that, but it's not gonna happen. I got, I got a budget. I only got you know a few thousand bucks I can spend and to get these miners online and the AC will get fixed eventually. So it's not like it has to, it, it just has to work. Okay. If it, if it keeps the miners cool enough, that's good enough for me. I don't want anything overheating obviously. But, um, so basically I woke up, um, this morning and I had like an epiphany. I'm like, okay, I have, I have an idea right here. Right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the door 
next to the bay door, right? So I'm gonna take this door out, I'm gonna frame it in, and I'm going to just curve it right through the wall right there, and then that will be the intake. And I'm gonna have two 24 inch fans right there blowing in. I'll have air filters, so I'm not sucking in the dust. Um, and that door is facing the north side, which doesn't get any sun, so that's good. The, the exhaust is get sun in the evening time because uh, it's in the w facing west, and so get a lot of sun. Um, so I think that would be pretty good. I can also, when I build the exhaust, I can kind of build a board that shoots out diagonally to keep the air from circling around. Um, I don't think it will. If, if there's a problem, I can do it. Um, and then I'll bring my second intake on this door on the south side of the building. I wasn't thinking about this before, but I'm gonna remove this door and add two 24 inch fans right here on, on that door. And that'll be blowing in from the back. And then the other side will be blowing in from the side on the two intakes. And the south side kind of sucks because it's always in the sun. So it's like not ideal, but if I do it anywhere, like I don't know where to do it anywhere else from. From the bay door entrance, right? Or I have to take it from the attic, which isn't gonna work because my own, I, have some, I have some windows up in the attic that I could use, but they're directly above where the exhaust is. So I don't think it's gonna work. And they're also in the sun quite a bit, and it's also hot in the attic. So. I don't, think, I don't think I'm gonna use the attic for any kind of ventilation at all. Um, I do, I, and the other, I could use the other side of the door, which I, the, the side, the door that goes out to the power area, I would love to use that door, but then there's no access, like no access from inside the building into the, the transformer outside area. Like there's gates outside, but I don't think the landlord is gonna to be too keen on me blocking that. I might be able to talk him into it, but at the same time, just like, and I think what I'll do is I'll build it on the south side. And if it ends up like not working that well, then I can just literally move it to the other side and we'll see like the best I can do, or I can, I'll figure it out. But basically with my four 24 inch intakes and my three 36 inch uh, exhaust, uh, I'll be taking in about 19,000 uh, CFM as an intake. And that probably will go down a little bit because I have air filters on those. So it you know, doesn't get as good as CFM and the exhaust will be 18,000 CFM. So I'm hoping that it's probably pretty equal. Um, pro I, don't know if I, want I don't know if I want positive air pressure or negative air pressure. Uh, I don't know anything. I'm learning so much stuff about airflow, just like Google and this stuff. But I, th I think this will work. And then um, all the Mystic cases are gonna be in the back and they're gonna be facing the wall and they all have fans in them. So they're gonna be moving the air from that back room or that back door straight through out the fans and then I'm gonna have all the open frames right at the front, so that way they get the air sucked through them. And I think, I think this will work. And so let me know what you guys think about this plan, if there's anything that can be improved from my, I, I know, okay, obviously I would love, there's a lot of stuff that can be improved, but basically without adding any additional holes in the building, that's what I need. So do you think it would be better for me to shoot the exhaust through the bay door, or do you think through the doors that I have planned, um, let me know, but yeah, that's basically it. So I'm just waiting for them to demo the wall. I'm gonna install the fans and then I gotta wait for the electrician to wire them up. And one of my fans is broken. I had to go return to Home Depot. That was super annoying. And I have to order another one. So I'm waiting on the replacement fan to come. Um, and I'm waiting on my 24 inch fans to come too. So um, I'm thinking probably two weeks is when this will all be done. And I'll be down here again, building my tunnels and firing up the stuff. Firing up the miners finally, right? Getting Ergo and Caspa on the big machines and uh, whatever is most profitable on the small ones. So uh, yeah, that, that pretty much sums it up, guys. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.